They say a lot has changed since we first started selling popcorn back in 1931. We'd like to think times haven't changed so much. Sure, the world moves a little faster. Girls, it's ready, let's go. But our buttery aroma still gets Dad out of his chair, turns good times into great times, and makes every mom a wonderful mom. shot for the pain, you know? Hey, can you get the dog down for us? <sighs> Dogs can't climb. Well, I guess he was so excited that he didn't stop to think about that on his way up. <laughs> What's his name? Sheba. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sheba. Hello, girl. Come on, you want to come down? Huh? Want to come down? Come on. Come on. Uh, steady girl. Steady girl. Steady girl. <laughs> That's how we like to think people think about EMS, the good old emergency days and all that time. But the reality is, they think of us a little more like this. Medic 24 team is on to code 3. Electricity is upgraded to 
Let's go. Watch that line. Hi, my name's Ruben Palchek. Yes. I'm a paramedic. It seems your husband. What's the hell? James Walker. Yeah, Jim's had an accident on the job. No, 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 no. He's he's fine. He's gonna be just fine. Buddy, let's open the door. Load him. You know you you can't ride. Wait, I'm coming along. Hey, I gotta work, naughty. Don't call me that, okay? Or worse, like this. Six two young is here, baby. <laughs> And I'm gonna take care of you. Thursday started out with a bang. Heat, humidity, moonlight, all the elements in place for a long weekend. I was good at my job. There were periods when my hands moved with the speed and skill beyond me. How long have you been doing this? Five years. Wow, you must have seen some things, huh? But in the last year, I'd start to lose that control. I've been seeing the ghosts. You ever notice people who see things are always crazy? Mm-hmm. I just needed a few slow nights, followed by a couple of days off. It's a double shooting, 41st and 8th. What happened to chest pain, difficulty breathing, fractured hands? Don't even slow down, just keep on moving. Nobody loves me, Chris. You have the power, Jesus, not to spare this worthless man. Rise up! I'll be banging! And you guys are good. I'm on my way out. Anytime now. Nobody gets fired, son. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you swore that you'd fire me if I came in late again. You swore it. You swore it. I'll find you tomorrow. The old man's a bus driver, mom a nurse. Sort of born to it, I guess. Rule number one, don't get involved with patients' daughters, you understand? Our mission, to save lives. Blast off! Help others and you help yourself. That was my motto. I understood how crazy it was to think this way. Then, something good will happen. Everything just glows. To the greatest job in the world. Don't try. Frank! Are you okay? Never felt better in my life. How are you? I'm good. Good. You can't push up around a man away. You can't push up around a man And then they go to Google and they look for their local service and they find something like this. Now, are these guys an EMS agency or a dating service or some kind of chat line for paramedics? I don't know. And don't worry, guys, because we take your insurance, any insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, it's all at competitive rates. Anyway, so I'm going to talk to you a little about how to do your website. Okay, I'm going to talk to you a lot about how to do your website. But first off, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about who I am. Uh, I'm a blogger and a podcaster in a number of ways, but the one that you guys may or may not have heard of me for is Confessions of an EMS Newbie, which I do with Kelly Grayson. Um, we talk about me going through pedi- going through paramedic school. I'm a tech guy turned EMT. I used to work for Apple. I've written a book on web application development. Hopefully you won't have to know any information that was in that book. And I broadcast live from EMS World in 2011. Uh, what do we want to do today? So I want to teach you a few things. I want you to uh, be introduced to buzzwords. You, there's some basic vocabulary you need to have to tell people, to help people do work with your website. So I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you uh, the buzzwords you need. Secondly, I want you to know what a quality website is and why it's important. I want you to know how to design said website. 
want you to know how to design it. I want you to know how to implement a quality website. Uh, and I want to give you an introduction to social media. There's a lot of that out there. I'll explain a little about what it is and how it works. And cheap, fast, or good, the resources for doing it. Don't worry about keeping a list of everything because there will be a website with a list on it. All right, so what is a good website? Well, it starts uh, with its purpose. And first and foremost, a good website is uh, the central or official outlet for your agency. So if anybody wants to know about you guys, it is your website that they go to. It is the official word. You may use other sites like Facebook or whatever, but it is your website that is the central one. And we'll talk a little about linking your website to other social media sites so that you don't have to do it. It's also where you have the official feeling or vibe of the mission holders. Um, it's, it's where you get to most express the personality of your site. Now, I was taught as an EMT that we should all be involved in injury prevention, uh, that every agency should be doing community education to stamp out disease and stop injury. Uh, you could do that via your website. The popcorn video was an example of that from the uh, agency in the UK, and I thought it was a very powerful example of that. Um, you also need to teach people who we are and what we do. Uh, I have a friend, and she called EMS uh, because she had abdominal pain, and the paramedics showed up at her house and ran a 12 lead on her and ended up transporting her. And she said, I didn't know paramedics could do all that stuff. And I think that shows that we're not doing enough of an education to the community about what paramedics do and what they, what they are, what EMS is. And you can use your central website to do that as well. And lastly, you can also use it for recruitment. If you recruit volunteers, this is a place to make your pitch. It's uh, to show them how to do it, and, um, and it can be linked to the content of what is a paramedic that we talked about a little bit before when you're trying to educate people on what EMS is. So you can kind of link your volunteers and your EMS. And when it comes to recruitment, another thing is that these kind of all go together because if you think back to St. John's, what they were doing was teaching first aid to the community. So they teach the community first aid, like what to do when someone's choking and stuff like that, and then the people who really get interested in that come into their next level of first aid. And then the next level, they start getting trained to become volunteers with their agency. And they just kind of use that as a pipeline to get people into the projects or into the EMS agency. Uh, communication. Since your website is the official voice for your communication, is the focal point of your communication with people, um, both public and private people are going to be using it, both your providers and uh, the public. You need to think differently how you're going to talk to each of those. One thing that's very important when you're web using your website for communication is to remember that communication is two-way. Yes, you can put up blog posts and videos and uh, web pages that tell people about your service, but you need to give them a way to talk to you. And there's two kinds of ways to do that. One is to talk to you publicly. That's normally done through something like comments on a post or a page on your website. And privately, is, which is normally giving them some way to send you an email or to send you a private message. You need to make sure your website has both of those things for good communication. Next, you need to look at ease of use. Your website needs to be easy to use. It needs to be easy to use first for the visitors. According to some website gurus, you know, 80% of people are going to bounce right off your front page. They're going to be on your front page for a very, very short period of time. And in that short period of time, I mean, we're talking seconds here, you need to figure out what it is that's going on with them. And you need to think how they can most easily get the information they want. That is why users come to your page is to get a specific piece of information. And you need to make it as easy as possible for them to get that information or else they're just going to go off and go to the next result in Google. You also need to make it easy for your agency. If it is a pain in the butt to update your website, it is not going to get updated. I mean, how many people listening to this have a website and it hasn't been updated in forever because you know that to do that, someone's got to go in and change HTML code and that's too big a pain in the butt. And actually, the volunteer who did it 20 years ago, he's gone now, and nobody else knows how to write HTML. You can see how it needs to be easy for your agency to update as well. And not just your tech guys, not your IT department. 
anybody needs to be able to update that website easily. 